Hi, this is Jay from Analytics Bay. In this video, we are going to see how the Jupyter Notebook works. So let's get started. Before talking about how the Jupyter Notebook works, let's talk a little about the history and the development of Jupyter Notebook. In 2001, Fernando Perez developed an enhanced Python interpreter named it as IPython project. IPython is an interactive cell similar to the normal Python cell which we have seen earlier but with great features like syntax highlighting and the code completion. Then in 2011, they introduced a web-based interface to IPython terminal called IPython Notebook. In 2014, they started Jupyter as a spinner project from IPython. The backend or the terminal where the code executed is known as the IPython kernel or we simply call it as kernel. So what is kernel? A kernel is a program that executes the user's code. So now we understood what a kernel is. Now let's see how the Jupyter Notebook works. Let's see this architecture. Jupyter Notebook is a client server application and the central part is the notebook server. We connect to the server through our browser and the notebook is rendered as a web app or we call it as notebook interface where it can be edited or run from. The notebook is written to the server as a JSON file with a .ipynb file extension. Meanwhile, kernel processes the notebook file session and covers the code language like it's Python or R, etc. Code which we write in the web app, that is the notebook interface, is sent through the server to the kernel. The kernel runs the code and sends the output or the possible errors to the server. Then any output is rendered back in the browser. A notebook is persistent because it's a file. Whereas a kernel may be closed at the end of any interactive session and it is therefore not persistent. So when a notebook is reopened, it needs to be re-executed. This server can be set up anywhere like on our own machine where we can access it without internet or remote machine or cloud instances like Amazon CC2, GCP, Microsoft Azure, etc. where we can access it through internet. Okay, so how can we set up this Jupyter Notebook on our own machine? Let's see this in next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Also, do not forget to subscribe.